Hello, my name is Jennifer Fugate, and I'm a therapist and manager of the Warren County Adult Outpatient Services Center. Today, I want to talk to you quickly about how depression may affect you during this uncertain time around COVID-19. COVID-19 is causing widespread fear and anxiety throughout our area, but the impact is more pronounced for people with existing mental health disorders. This is especially true for anyone who struggles with depression. The National Survey on Drug Use and Health reports that 7% of adults will have at least one major depressive episode in their lifetime. In short, there are a lot of people who struggle with these conditions. Additionally, we are being told to adhere to social distancing recommendations by keeping space between ourselves and others outside our home to slow the spread of coronavirus. This may be having an impact on our health as we skip routine medical appointments, family gatherings, and recreational activities in favor of staying safe at home. Fortunately, there are new ways to connect with your therapist and address issues of anxiety and depression in these unprecedented times. Our therapists at Life Skills are offering counseling through telehealth, utilizing free apps that are available to anyone who has a laptop, smartphone, tablet, iPad, or other device. Due to the scope of COVID-19 pandemic, most insurance plans are accepting telehealth as a viable option to conducting therapy. We are using a HIPAA-compliant platform to deliver the service to our clients. For those who are struggling with depression, additional fears of the unknown during this crisis financial struggles, family stressors, and other problems may be just too much to bear. I encourage you to try some of the following if this is the case. First of all, limit your exposure to the 24-7 media loop. It's unlikely that information is going to change significantly over a day's time, so designate a time each day to check in on the news channel and then change the channel. Reassure yourself and your family members by knowing that we're all in this together. We're all feeling overwhelmed about the current situation. Start each day with gratitude. Find something that you're grateful for and speak it out loud or write it down. Have your other family members do the same. Scientific research has shown that this small step can help us to rewire our brains toward positive thoughts. Establish a routine. Although it may be different from what your normal day looks like, plan your day out. Write it down and post it if it helps you. Get a good night's sleep. Adults are recommended to get between seven and nine hours of sleep. Establish a bedtime routine that limits the lighting and sound. Next, go outside. Take a walk, even if it's just around your own home. Be mindful of social distancing, but get out there and take in some vitamin D. And finally, eat healthy. Focus on your proteins, vegetables, and fruits. These types of foods have been proven to be naturally mood enhancing. Finally, if it's just too much, please reach out to us. We're here to help our community today and in the days to come.